Hi everyone, today we will see how we can install Java on our Mac operating system. This is my new MacBook Air M3 and we are going to install Java in this. These steps will also be applicable for previous Mac versions like with M1 and M2 chip. So let's start by downloading Java first. You can head over to your browser and simply type download Java. You can see we get these links. You have to click the link with this Oracle site. On clicking this link, we will be directed to the Java website. Here we, we can see we have various version. I will be selecting JDK 21 for me. And here you can select Mac OS. In Mac OS, you can see we have one ARM 64 DMG installer and one is X64 DMG installer. The X64 DMG installer are our previous Mac which have Intel chips in this. The, and the ARM 64 DMG installer are for the Macs which have M1, M2 or M3 chips with them. So we are going to install this version only. So I will click on this and you can see download will be started. This the download will be depending on the speed of your internet. Once the, this is downloaded, you can click on it. And this window will be open for it. Now to install this, you have what you have to do is just click on this. And this new JDK installation window will be open. See, now what you have to do is just follow the steps. We will do continue install for our users. Here you can see the size which it will require on your disk. I say continue. Uh, we don't want to change the location for the install and just click on install. Now to install this software, you have to provide your Mac password. So I will give it my password. And see now the software is installing. You have to wait for this and it will validate it. See now the uh, installation is successfully done. Now we can close this and you see it is asking for us if you want to move the JDK installer to the bin. I will move it to the bin as I will be no longer needed it. I have already installed the Java. You can head over to your terminal. So just in case you don't have terminal here, you can simply go to spotlight search and type terminal. And here you go, you have got your terminal. So to check if Java is installed in your, in your system or not, you can simply paste this command and it will tell you if Java installed or not. See, it is telling me that Java 21.0.5 is being installed in my system. Now we have to do one more thing. Now what we have to do is we have to set the Java home path because many application uses that variable to configure with the Java version of your system while running. For that, what we have to do, we have to set the part in ZHS RC file and ZHSC file should be present in your home directory. You can check if you are in your home directory or not by typing PWD. So see, I am in my home directory. This is my home directory. And for to check if ZSHRC file is created or not, you can simply type LS dash AS. Sorry, AL. So what this will do that it will give you all the files which are present in your home directory including the hidden files you see these are dot zh history file these files are actually hidden file and also the zh s hrc file we will creating also be a hidden file so you can see for me it is also not created so we have to create it here for creating z s hrc file what we have to do is uh, simply we have to write touch space dot dot because is this will be a hidden file z s h r c and simply press enter so this file will be created and now what we have to do we have to paste path in it so we can type open dot z h s r c to open this file so there is a type typo we have to type open dot z s h r c and press enter you can see that zhsrc file has been opened for us now we have to paste two commands here so that we can set the home variable so to set the environment variable java home you have to paste these two lines of the code here in zhsrc file here you have 
to be cautious while pay, uh, copy pasting this line you have to make sure the java version which you have downloaded matches this version you can see i have downloaded 21.0.5 and here i have mentioned the same you can save this file by simply pressing command s and this file will be saved you can close this file now uh, if you have to make sure if this is save or not you can just uh, recheck it and you can see the file is already been saved for us now what we have to do is we have to source this file so source is a source because we uh, if we will source this file then the system will know that these are the changes or environment variable which we have to consider so i will source this file and see after sourcing what we can do if we can uh, check it if java installed or not simply you can check with this command echo java home and see it is giving me my path where my java is being installed so this is a very simple step to install java in uh, m1 m2 or m3 chip macbook air with silicon chips if you have any issue please comment down and we uh, i'll try to resolve it for you and uh, in the next video we will be going to install intellij ide and run some java code to check if this is properly working or not thank you so much please consider subscribing if you like this video and please do leave a comment if you love this video thank you